all of the Raws and Smackdowns are now on Peacock. So if we wanted to finish off the invasion, <laughs> we in fact could do that now. Look at Vinny. I, 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 I personally have zero desire to do that. Bailey got this match by laughing in the face of Bianca. Yeah. A title shot well earned. Now, Vinny and I don't watch the current product much. It sucks. There was a distraction in this match, and his name was Pat McAfee. Oh, Craig. I am not a fan of this man. He also talked about walking by the stairs and touching them, and oh my god, I almost broke my toe. What a moron. Like, I want a guy with life. He feels like a real guy. Like a weird mm. guy, but he's okay. a real guy nonetheless. Who's this guy on Raw? I forgot his name already. What's his name? <laughs> Sam Smith's Jimmy, Jimmy Smith. Yeah. Fuck. Jimmy Smith. Jimmy Smith. <laughs> she did do enough to keep her title, but Bailey kicked her butt, and she will never forgive her for that. Yeah, something got screwed up here in this promo. What? Has Loki been screwing with the timeline and we got the, the, the promo from a different universe popped in here? And then on a replay it says he put it out of there like a piss missile. Yeah. On Twitter, he said the same thing, spelled it out, all caps. Piss. Missile. He'll be hearing about that one later. I had people trying to tell me that this was, like, good. Block them. Because, you know, they, they paid off the hypnotism on Raw. Don't you dare say the words paid off Don't. the hypnotism and expect me to <laughs> take that rationally. That's what I Paid said. off the hypnotism? Yes. He's either hurt or he's one of the best fucking sellers I ever saw in my life. Because I was convinced he was hurt. They all work their asses off, and they're very, they're tremendous at their jobs. But based on the way those two matches ended, all I can think was, who actually enjoys watching this? Who left this show happy? Well, I think I need to go on my timeline. There, there are people <laughs> out there that really like getting fucked. Oh, yeah. excuse me. You heard me. Hmm. Wardlow is in there being a pro wrestler. He's doing fucking Hurricane Ronis. Like... That's what this was. It was a fighter yeah. versus a wrestler inside an MMA cage. But at the end of the day, it was still like a pro wrestling contest. My son was even like hook, line, and sinker. He was like, this is legit. And then and then uh, Wardlow did the Hurricane Rana and uh, maybe not. <laughs> so he got him, but he's 14. And the key to all this is, it's not only the key, but it's the best part. Hook. He's above it all. He didn't care. He's standing there looking awesome and being cool. Hook is the best. They're doing every goofball comedy interference bullshit spot in the book. I'm watching it thinking, why am I watching a match from AW Dark? These wingmen. These are the goofiest goofs that ever goofed. They have nothing in common. They have no connection. There is zero backstory to why they're together, why they are friends, what their common interests or goals are. I think that they want to give the impression to you that it's going to be a random match on a Saturday night. It's going to be maybe 11 minutes. Omega's going to win. It'll be fine. But then they're going to go in there and they're going to try to tear the house down. That's what I got out of this. But I thought it was way too wacky for an AEW World Heavyweight Championship match. Go home angle. Brock Anderson, of course, the son of Arn Anderson. And you don't I, say. It's hard to tell, I know. Spit an image. He's really missing that uh, that charisma thing. You know what I'm talking about? Charisma? Uh, here's what this guy has going for him. He looks like Arn. Wow. Well, yeah, he does. He does look like... That's all he has going for him? This is not a good fit, I think, with Vicky Guerrero. Why not Alex Abrahantes here? Why isn't that he the manager of Andrade? That, okay, that would rule. Britt finds her happy place by eating cheeseburgers, which may be the only thing Britt Baker and I have in common. Please tell me that they actually got a corporate sponsorship for the Toronto Four Seasons, and the oh. promo code is, in fact, that bitch. If I do a show and I say, hey, we got a corporate sponsorship with the Toronto Four Seasons, uh -huh. and the uh, discount code, code is fuck off, all right. A bunch of fans start calling you, and they're like, "I want the uh, the deal." And then you go, "Well, what's the uh, what's the promo code?" And the guy goes, "Fuck off." That's going to be a problem, right? Who is your favorite Golden Girl? I'd have to say the Granny. Sophia. Yeah. If you were to do Granny ratings for another sport, what sport would it be? Bowling. You're gonna rate bowling? <laughs> The hell is that guy's name? Uh, Pete, uh, what was his name? That bowler that was like a RVD gimmick? Pete Weber? What do you think of that guy, Granny? 
uh, he had his problems. He was on drugs and stuff. Was he? I was unaware of that. Yeah. Can he strike on the fill shot on the 10th frame to defeat Mike Fagan by one pin, 215 to 214, Weber exploded in a burst of rage and excitement. <laughs> rage and excitement. <laughs> the quote is, gosh darn it, yes, that is right, I did it. That's number five, are you kidding me? That's right. Turns to audience, who do you think you are? I am. I don't even, I don't even get what you're talking about. That's what he said, I just quoted him. That was his uh, reaction about winning. Uh, yeah, you need, I think you need to see it in context. That was just I'm a sure bunch of do. gobbledygook you spouted out. That's what he said. I know, but what was the context of it? Did he win? Did he I lose? I just read like a fucking... Ah! Now I'm in a feast of rage and excitement. <sighs> Knock it off. Reigns versus Mysterio. He put uh, Reigns' neck in a chair. That I'd like to see that. Then jumped on it. <laughs> wow. She, she hates Roman Reigns, don't you, Granny? I hate him, so I only gave it a three. Who do you like? Miz. <laughs> I know you don't like Miss Too Well. Shut up, Granny. That was uh, that was deliberate. And I can put up with Carmella and uh Carmella. Okay, so then I have Asuka versus Cameron. Hey ladies, hey Ma. What's up? Let's fly. All right. All right. A few face kicks and butts by Cameron. You wanted me to go over to your house. <laughs> well I offered. But I have to sleep in my chair. <laughs> you don't think I have a chair? No, you don't have one that adjusts. Actually, I do. You do? And it's pink. Yeah, I'm going to stay here. All right. Besides, I have to water my plants. But then Robert Stone comes in, and he has the most ridiculous outfit of all four of them. Uh, Beth Phoenix afterwards said it looked like a jacket with a training bra over the top. It was something. It was definitely something. Robert Stone goes to give Frankie Monet a high five. And his hand is right about to touch her hand. And the dog goes, ah! This dog hit its fucking cue perfectly. This dog should get votes for best rookie in the mm. Observer Awards this year. Somebody astutely noted to me that there are eight factions in NXT right now. All right. Eight. A faction being a group of three or more individuals. Okay. All right. All eight factions are made up of heels. Yes. It's going to be the challenging carrying cross in your house. He really should have gotten a house. Uh, in the mess of a match. I don't remember what he did on that show. I remember in the match. He didn't win. I don't know. <laughs> Fashioned. Vinny, 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 Vinny. Am I glitching like crazy again? The grappling that they did in this match was as good as the grappling you will see anywhere on this planet in any promotion. They were so great. And I loved that it's two baby faces, and they had a baby face match, and nobody cheated. And in the end, they hugged and they embraced and they congratulated each other on a great performance. There was a clean win. There was no distractions. There was no That's interference. True. How in That's God's true. name could I not love this match? It's Roderick Strong with a buzz cut. And he is in there with Tyler Rust. And their manager, Malcolm Bivens. And a fourth guy. Hideki no Suzuki, who was named never him. identified. Malcolm announces this is Diamond Mine. So they're here now. These three guys. And apparently, yes, it's another faction. And apparently they are heels. That is true.